Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Today is a nail education video. Before doing nails, I think it's crucial to know the foundation. So today we will be discussing the basics of nail anatomy. The key to doing great nails is educating yourself. After watching this video, you should understand the structure and growth of natural nails to allow you to expertly groom, strengthen, and beautify nails. Know the difference between the nail cuticle and the epinicium before performing nail services and understand the structure and growth cycles of the natural nail that will prepare you for more advanced nail services. All parts of the finger from the tip to the first knuckle are referred to as the natural nail unit. The natural nail itself is technically referred to as the onyx and is composed mainly of keratin. The keratin in natural nails is more durable than the keratin in hair or skin. A normal healthy nail is firm and flexible, shiny and slightly pink in color. A healthy nail should be whitish and translucent in appearance with the pinkish or beige color of the nail bed below showing through. The natural nail is divided into several major parts, including the nail bed, matrix, nail plate, cuticle, epinicium, hypinicium, specialized ligaments, and nail folds. The nail plate is the hardened keratin plate that sits on top of the underlying nail bed. The nail plate slowly slides across the nail bed while it grows and is the most visible and functional part of the nail unit. The nail plate may appear to be one solid piece, but is actually constructed of about 100 layers of nail cells. The free edge is the part of the nail plate that extends over the tip of the finger or toe. The nail bed is the portion of living skin that supports the nail plate as it grows towards the free edge. The nail bed is supplied with many nerves and is attached to the nail plate by a thin layer of tissue called the bed epithelium. The bed epithelium helps guide the nail plate along the nail bed as it grows. Unfortunately, many nail technicians confuse the, the nail bed with the nail plate. As a professional, you should know the difference and use proper names for the parts of the nail unit. The matrix is the area where the nail plate cells are formed. It is composed of matrix cells that produce other cells that become the nail plate. As long as it is nourished and kept in healthy condition, the matrix will continue to create new nail plate cells. The matrix extends from under the nail fold at the base of the nail plate. The visible part of the matrix that extends from underneath the living skin is called the lanula. Not all can be seen. They are very short and remain hidden under the epinicium. The cuticle is a dead colorless tissue attached to the nail plate. The cuticle comes from the underside of the skin that lies above the natural nail plate. This tissue is incredibly sticky and difficult to remove from the nail plate. Its job is to seal the space between the natural nail plate and the living skin above the epinicium to prevent entry of foreign materials and microorganisms and to help prevent injury and infection. Cuticle removers can quickly dissolve soft tissue and when carefully applied to the nail plate, they speed the removal of stubborn cuticle tissue. The epinicium is a living skin at the base of the nail plate covering the matrix area. The epinicium is often mistaken for the cuticle. They are not the same. The cuticle is a dead tissue adhered to the nail plate. The epinicium is a living tissue at the base of the nail plate. Nail technicians are permitted to gently push back the epinicium, but are prohibited from cutting or trimming any part of the epinicium since it is living skin, even if it appears dry and hardened. The hypernicium is a slightly thickened layer of skin that lies between the fingertip and the free edge of the nail plate. It forms a protective barrier that prevents microorganisms from invading and inf infecting the nail bed. When this area is damaged, the nail plate can separate from the nail bed. This can make infections under the nail plate more likely to occur, so this area should be treated with care. The nail folds are folds of normal skin that surround the nail plate. These folds form the nail grove or furrow on each side of the nail. The side wall, also called the lateral nail fold, is the fold of skin overlapping the side of the nail. After learning these terms, I hope you can perform and have a better understanding of nail anatomy, its parts, and its function. This information is guaranteed to make you a better nail technician. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.